Okay, so today I'm going to try to do the M151 electronic ignition conversion on my um, M38A1 distributor. I've been reading up on it. There's not a whole lot of instructions on the internet, um, but I'm going to try to uh, do this. It seems fairly simple, but there's a couple of things that I'm not real sure about. Um, especially the um, making the new notch in the rotor there because the ignitions are different than 151 rotates counterclockwise whereas the 38A1 rotates clockwise. I think I have that right anyway. But here's the main instructions I printed off the internet. Um, found those on uh, willisengeeps.com. Try to do a video conversion. Uh, I'll stop and start a few times when I do stuff. Get some close-ups of what I've done. So maybe this will work out right, and you'll be able to get something out of what I show you. If not, I don't know. Here it goes. Okay, I've got the um, breaker plate off now. Um, you can see it's pretty rusty. I'm getting some moisture in there somewhere or another. I noticed, uh, this is the first time I've taken it apart, I noticed that this little tab right here goes in this little slot right here. I can't tell you can see that slot right there. And the knee breaker plate, an electronic one, it's got this little tab on it. But it doesn't go in that slot in the, um, the old breaker plate slot. It's got to be moved. Now, according to the instructions, the hall sensor is supposed to be pointing to the screw over here. And according to the instructions, there's the slot, the original slot in the distributor housing that needs to be right there. So if I line up the hall sensor to point towards that screw hole, that little tab there is going to have to be over here, basically right in here. So that will be where I cut it out. And I also noticed while I, when I pulled the coal out, I had a lot of oil down in there where the coal is. So I don't know if my coal exploded or what. It looks like I have a little bulge on the bottom of it. But I don't see any holes or anything in it. So I'm not sure. I think I'll just go ahead and put my spare in there just to be sure. That looks good other than the oil that was in the bottom of the distributor housing. Looks like a fairly new one. So I don't know. I tried anyway. There's my other hold downs and stuff. I think I've got a broke hold down here. I'm going to find another one. Alright, on to making a notch, I reckon. Alright, so I got the little notch cut in there. I used the Dremel tool and a couple of little small machine files. And then, uh, Decided to try to wash out the metal shavings inside the distributor house and spray some brake cleaner down in there. And of course, uh, ate the paint off the end where it touched. But one good thing is the shaft turns a lot better now, a lot easier. So that's a good thing, I reckon. Alright, next step, let me put this uh, plate in there. Then I'll start it back up. Show you that. Okay, so it's reinstalled. Um, the wires going to the coil might be a little stretched, more than I like anyway. Put my old coil back in there. I hope it's still good. Uh, black wire attached to the uh, to the ground. That's the black wire from the module attached to the distributor housing where the coils. Uh, 
clamp or whatever it's called there. Ring wire going to the minus side of the coil. Red wire from the module going to the positive side. Black wire from the capacitor, which is where you plug in your distributor, is going to the positive side of the coil. I didn't make any more notches on the uh, rotor, so I don't know if that's right or not. I'm going to try it anyway. Next, I've got my uh, new 24 volt stock starter painted up. It's about dry. I think I'm going to pull that one out and stick it in too before I try this new stripper. Alright, that's it. Well, it's back in. Um, I didn't do anything to the rotor. I just uh, stuck it in the way it fit. Didn't uh, cut the notches out, the gaps out anymore. Um, put a new starter in. And um, I put the adjusted the distributor back to where it was before. I took it out and uh, grind right up. Starter wire started getting hot, so I had to cut it off and uh, disconnect that before it burned up. I had to figure that out tonight. That's it.